Okay guys, so sometimes a new generator, this is a Generac uh, again, EXL, you're going to run into the uh, fuel tank uh, which is made of plastic and then you're going to run into this rubber, uh, rubber insert here with a fuel shut off and uh, sometimes you might need to replace just the fuel shut off, sometimes you might need to replace the rubber uh, insert. Um, in my case, I just want to make sure there is a filter for the fuel, fuel filter installed, okay? So I really don't want to break it or yank it off, I would just like to take it out and put it back in. So I'm going to show you how I done it, I already done it actually, so now it's going to be a little bit easier, but what I did, just take these uh, needle nose pliers and kind of work it in between the rubber with the help of the screwdriver okay and it's not easy believe me just work it in between okay on both sides pretty much try not to rip it off or, or cut it or something okay and once you get on the both sides like this, we don't need the nose pliers. All right, just get a little more in. Then you're gonna make sure that there is no gas in the tank, of course. And uh, another note: you cannot pull this out without pulling this whole thing out, okay? That's pretty important to know because this is much harder to pull out than this rubber. So what I did, I just got this in here, then I got a bigger screwdriver, and I just, I just, see, for the second time, and it's not really, easy but you just pretty much have to prime it out just like that come on just get get a nice grip and I think I got it from the side and then just go one side another side and the thing is out just like that, okay? There is a fuel filter, which is good. And now, if you want to replace this part here, the shut off, you just have to work this out, you know. Pretty much work it out like this. Until, until it's going to come out just like that and uh, that's the end of it now you can inspect uh, the rubber make sure it's not cracked around here like this one okay pretty bad crack right here it was not leaking but I'm gonna get a new one anyway now to put it back in Um, yeah, let's, let's do it, why not? First, you have to insert this, this uh, rubber uh, bushing, okay? Or the rubber plug. You cannot insert this into the bushing and then insert the bushing in. It's not gonna work that way. What you have to do, pretty much get this in on one side, just like that. Get a smaller screwdriver, make sure it's clean, and then work the rubber inside little by little. And I did have it, yes, that's it. Okay, now that, that one, that part is in. We're just gonna grab this thing here. 
of course this is, this one is screw in I think no this one is plied in but it's in good shape so I'm gonna keep it some of them will be screwed in some of them are just plied in and sometimes they will come off so I just want to make sure that this one is in and actually it's a good idea I'm sorry I forgot to tell you to put a drop of oil on it and another rubber too before you do this so I got the rubber in already but let me put a drop of oil on this thing here that's not gonna hurt anything okay especially this one is kind of tough to get in and uh, I'm just gonna work it in a little bit like this just to make sure the oil goes back behind it on the other side and all you gotta do is just pretty much push it in and again it requires quite a force so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a screwdriver and just prime this hell out of it. Okay, and now it's in. Yeah, it's a bitch, but uh, it's doable. Okay, now of course make sure it doesn't leak and everything. This one, uh, it mm, might leak because it's cracked, but uh, I don't have very, I have very little gas in there, so that's why I just, uh, what, I, what I've done here, I can show you, I just tilted the generator on a, a, you know, a little bit like that, and uh, that, that will do it, that will take care of the gasoline if you have just a little bit left. Okay, good luck with that.